welcome to everything embedded in this video we will be talking about uh, linux kernel uh, and specifically the linux kernel version and how to make sure that we are always using an, uh, the up to date latest kernel uh, the linux kernel for the raspberry pi and uh, why do we need that uh, so as you can see on your screen there are various uh, devices available for the pi there are various cameras lcd screens various kind of displays and if you are creating your own embedded Linux version, you will want to make sure that uh, it will uh, work on any of these uh, on any of these modern devices or, or even the new one which comes onto the market. So uh, if you are experiencing problems, for example, if you have created your own embedded Linux distribution and if you find that you are experiencing issues or if it is not working or if drivers are not available or if there, there is some kind of a problem, so what to do basically i mean this is what this uh, video was about i had uh, i had various displays and i found that my the embedded linux which i created with default settings was not working against these devices so what did i have to do to fix those kind of problems so if i'll open my local.conf so i made sure that i specified the version of uh, preferred version linux raspberry pi as 5.4 what this tells uh, yocto is that to fetch the source for the 5.4 version of the linux kernel uh, which was the latest at that time when i was building this image when i was building this embedded linux image so this was the latest version at that point of time and when i ran it against the devices uh, against the various lcds and the different screens uh, my embedded Linux distribution started to work, including the audio and the touch screen as well. So where does this number comes from? Where does this 5.4 comes from? So let us explore that. So if you go onto the Raspberry Pi's uh, documentation page, I have put the link in the description. It's about the Linux kernel, which is used in the Raspberry Pi OS. So this is the same Linux kernel, which we are also using in the, in our, Yocto, Yocto's embedded Linux when we pull in the Meta Raspberry Pi layer. So as you can uh, see, it's mentioned on that the source code for this uh, Linux kernel, which is used by the Raspberry Pi OS is stored on this GitHub page. And if you go onto that page, it will, uh, you can see the latest version is 5.10 now. I was using 5.4, but this is the latest version now. So, make sure so this tells you which is a version which you should be using and the advantage of the latest version is so for example if you are creating an embedded linux image to run on raspberry pi 400 which has uh, support for uh, built-in embedded keyboard and other things you need to make sure that you use the latest version of the raspberry pi kernel so that way it will work against various devices which uh, which you find on the market really so for example i was having a look at this various hyperpixels and others uh, these wave share lcd specifically so wave share lcds they specifically rely on on the on the drivers which are inside the kernel so the kernel should support those drivers so the one way to make sure is to make sure that you always have an up-to-date kernel version number in your local.conf uh, that will instruct Yocto to fetch the latest source code for that so which is there as in this file for example and I want to keep things simpler but uh, unfortunately we are dealing with how to create embedded Linux uh, one of the most complicated topics so a little bit of uh, uh, complications are expected so this is my meta raspberry pi folder and in that there is a folder called as a recipes kernel if you go inside that there is again will be a folder called as linux so you can open uh, for example this uh, bitbake file which is what i have done and as you can see it specifies which version to use so in my case it was using 5.4.83 and it was fetching the source for that and that is the embedded uh, that is the linux kernel which was being uh, built into my linux distribution embedded linux distribution so yeah so this was just a short video to explain that i mean in case if you are facing problems 
or if you are finding a what to do exactly if you want to make sure that your embedded Linux version works against all the various different kinds of hardware, be it the audio modules or be it the USB add-ons and other things and it supports latest features uh, make sure to keep your uh, Linux uh, uh, to keep your Linux kernel version up to date and I think uh, you should be good to go from there I hope you like this short video and uh, thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next one thank you bye bye